it's Chrissy, I'm with Positively Osceola, and today I'm here with Desiree, a part of the animal care team from Wild Florida, and she's brought a very special friendly guest here with us today. <laughs> Obviously we have a sloth, but tell us a little bit more about this adorable sloth. Alright, so this is Chloe, and she is a two-toed sloth. Two toes refers to, to actually their front feet or hands. Sometimes you'll hear them called two-fingered sloths, because it's only on their front feet. They do have three toes on the back. So there's also a different species of sloth called a three-toed sloth, and they have three on the back and on the front. And do they just live in different parts of the world? Um, they are both native to South America, um, but all zoos will have two-toed sloths because three-toed sloths are actually endangered, oh. and two-toed sloths are not. Okay, okay. So what, what's a big reason that why a three-toed sloth could be endangered? Well, three-toed sloths are very picky when it comes to what they eat. They only eat a leaf off of one type of tree. It's called their Sokopia tree. That's the only thing they're going to eat. They're not going to eat corn on the cob here like Chloe. And how old did you say she was? She is three years old. Three years old. She's so cute. And her eyes are closed. I don't know if you can tell, but she's just enjoying this corn so much. Now, what else do sloths eat typically? So they're herbivores. So they're just going to eat vegetation. Um, corn on the cob is just a treat for them. We use that for encounters because it's, it's pretty much just like junk food candy for sloths. So they'll come out and meet people for a piece of corn. Um, and we bring people in here and they can meet them, they can pet them on their back, just like that. And see, she, she doesn't even care. So she, oh, she is so soft. So there's really not a lot of places where you can get this close to a sloth. Right. <laughs> All right, once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Chrissy. I'm with Positively Osceola, and I'm here with Desiree from Wild Florida. She's a part of the animal care staff. We are so lucky to be here, so thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah, you're and, very welcome. you know, Wild Florida is an awesome spot to see all types of new animals, new experiences all over, and Positively Osceola wants to share that with you. So hopefully you've enjoyed this and you've loved seeing a little bit about what they do here. This is a really fun experience, and we just want to share that positivity with everybody. So thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you soon.